Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, as Ramadan approaches its beautiful conclusion, our hearts turn with anticipation towards a very special night, Laylatul Qadr, Night of Power. You know, the Quran itself speaks about the majesty of this night, and it's mentioned many times, not only in the Quran and in Hadith. The night is hidden within the last 10 nights, and if we seek the majesty of this night, if we constantly try to achieve this blessing, it's worth more than a thousand months. And we always question, why is that? Why is it so much blessings? You know, in the time of Noah, salam, people used to live up to a thousand years. They used to live many, 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 many lives. Some people always would hit uh, puberty when they were like 80. It was, it was crazy. So now we don't have the opportunity to live that much and we have that in little cover if we do it over many, many years. Because yeah, imagine the reward of a sincere of sincere worship on a single night that's better than a thousand months. The Prophet وسلم, he said, Whoever stayed whoever stands in prayer during Laylatul Qadr with faith and hoping for Allah's reward, his sin all of his previous sins will be forgiven. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. So how can we prepare ourselves for Laylatul Qadr, you know, for this extraordinary night? You know, of course, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would worship even more during Laylatul Qadr, during the last 10 nights. And he was already the most generous outside of Ramadan. So imagine inside of Ramadan, and then imagine inside of the last 10 nights. It was like double, 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 triple, triple, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He would be the most generous outside of Ramadan and inside of Ramadan, mashallah. So of course we gotta increase in worship, you know, we gotta sound for those qiyam, you know. Think that, you know, anything in this dunya is not worth it. And nothing is worth it, you know. But standing in prayer, Allah sees those who stand in prayer, especially in these last ten nights. You know, Tarawih prayer, recitation of the Quran, this is all types of ibadah. Purify our intentions, you know, that's all it is about. You know, sometimes we have work, we have things to do in the morning. Sometimes we don't have the time to do 20 rakas of Tarawih, but if we have the correct intentions, Allah is going to reward us as if we did all 20, even if we couldn't. Seek forgiveness, we got to seek forgiveness constantly. You know, this is a night of power, so of course we have a lot of sins, a lot of things that we need to ask forgiveness for, so inshallah, Allah forgive us. And of course, make dua, make dua. Amen. But yeah, remember that the exact date of Laylatul Qadr is unknown. Some people say it's in the last 10 nights, some people say it's the odd night, and some people say it's the 27th night. All of those answers are correct, because the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he said, seek Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 nights, specifically the odd nights. And many Sahaba, may Allah be pleased with them, had dreams about it in the last seven nights to be specific. And many Sahaba, they have um, narrated that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, would pray extra on the 27th specifically. So whatever, whatever day it is, if it's an odd night or if it's not an odd night, if it's on the 27th or not on the 27th, just pray. You don't, we don't know exactly when Laylatul Qadr. It could be on the even nights or the odd nights. Mm -hmm. And may Allah grant us the wisdom to recognize Laylatul Qadr and fill it with sincere ibadah. May he forgive our sins, accept our du'as, and shower us with his mercy. Jazakallah khairan. And wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.